Welshman, you're probably the happiest person in the camp at the moment, aren't you? Yeah, I think there's a few bitter English lads in the, in the dressing room at the minute. I don't think they can quite believe how well Wales are doing and how poorly England um, played in the tournament. But um, it's rare, but it's, it's so nice to see. Yeah, so hopefully come Wednesday we'll uh, get to the final. Confident? I think, obviously, Portugal, <laughs> you've got Cristiano Ronaldo, but they've, 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 got, well, they've managed to get to the semi-final without winning a game as such. Um, but they're there, obviously... Um, a threat, but there's no reason why Wales can't um, do what they did on against Belgium and get to the final. And does all this have any sort of feel good factor and benefit for you plugging away pre season training with Cheltenham Town? Yeah, this obviously you come in and you, you work hard, you're working hard to get fit again, and um, it's nice knowing that in a few days' time it'll be a good football match to watch. I suppose also what it does is it you know just shows you that dreams can come true. And I suppose last season, fantastic for Chelsea. You just want to keep that going now, don't you? Oh yeah, coming off the back of last season, we we want to use the momentum and push on. Um, it was an unbelievable season, and the feel good factor is at the football club, and long way they continue. And the gaffer said to us that because everyone knows how to play the Gary Johnson way. Fitness is now sort of the real focus this season. I suppose going up the level, that that's logical, isn't it? Of course. I think we, we proved many times last season how strong we were towards the latter stages of games. And um, now we're in League Two. I think teams will be fitter and stronger. So we need to make sure that um, we are at a level that we can maintain our levels and um, come those dying stages of matches that we're still able to do um, things that the manager wants us to do and not let fitness be an issue. And as someone who's played both levels, how big is the difference? It's a step up. I think um, the standard of teams week in, week out um, are the Wrexhams, the Grimsby's, the, the Forest Greens. I think every week it's very, very competitive. Obviously, I think um, come come Saturday, come Tuesday, there's, there's, no, there's no lesser teams as such. Whereas I think uh, previously, especially last season, there was mentally, as long as you made sure you were switched on and you were capable of, of taking your responsible um, roles in the team, then we knew that we were capable of winning games. But I think this season we need to make sure that um, we're on it every single second of every game because there is an improvement. Obviously, lacking a centre-half partner at the moment. Um, Downs, he's doing his best to get fit, but probably still a little way to go. If Cameron Burgess or Rob Dickey come back in on loan, great. But how long would it take, if it's someone new, to get that sort of that partnership, that understanding? There's no hiding away that you, the more often you play with someone, you get an understanding, you, you, get, you build partnerships. But we proved last season how quickly we gelled. Um, there was a completely new group last season. Um, myself and Aaron hadn't played before, along with the full-backs and, and Dylan in goal. So, um, obviously, hopefully we can get Cambo um, and Rob back in uh, to add to the group because they played a huge part last season. But um, whoever does come through the door, then it won't be, it won't, well, it won't be an issue. Be fine. And I suppose Asa also played there a couple of games last season as well. If he has to play there pre-season, I mean, it's something he's done before, isn't it? Of course, Ace is versatile. He's he's an intelligent footballer, and he, although he's 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 a central midfielder, he's he's got the qualities and uh, attributes to just slot in comfortably. So, if push comes to shove, we've we've got options. Pre-season games start very soon. Does that just make it seem a little bit close to the start of the season, or is it almost a nightmare time because you probably train and have pre-season games on the same days sometimes? Yeah, yeah. Pre-season friendlies, they're there for. They're, an, they're a great exercise to get that understanding and to get fitness and to get it all in the bank ready for August the 6th. So um, there'll be a gradual um, increase in intensity, there'll be uh, an increase in workload, all building up to that game against Lake Norwood. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Dan, what a difference a year makes, eh? Uh, this time last year, you were without a club and sort of tr trying to work out where your next move would be. Now, now you're what players' player of the year with a championship medal in your mm. under your belt. Can you believe what's happened in the last year? No, well, <laughs> it's, it's 
it, it has been an unbelievable year, and like you said, this time last last season, it was it was a tough time because you, I was trying to keep fit myself, making sure I was as ready as I could be for an opportunity, and thankfully Cheltenham gave me that chance. So, um, as you say, I haven't looked back since, and what a year. Yeah, that the first time we've spoken to you since being named by your your, your pals as their player of the year. How much did that mean? It, yeah, this it's it's a great personal achievement. Um, obviously, we're all in it together, but to have the the recognition off your teammates is um, is great. And um, you play with them week in week out. You train with them every day, and just just knowing that uh, I'm doing my bit for the team, and they recognise how hard I work and. Um, my performances have haven't gone unnoticed, so yeah, it's nice. The circumstances have taken a twist over the summer with various things happening. As it stands, you're probably going to be the man with the armband on the on the first day. That that'll be a that'll be a nice thing to to well, lead the club out on their first game back in the league. Yeah, I mean it hasn't been official, um, but like you said, obviously with with Aaron not quite re- ready yet, and with Kyle's suspension, um, it looks that way. So yeah, I'll I'll, I'll lead. By example, if I can, and if if given the armband, then um, when I, I'll look forward to. And where are you going to be watching the game Wednesday night? I understand you were back in back in Cardiff on 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 Friday yeah. watching it with some mates. Is that the is that the same thing? Yeah, if not with the mates, it'll be with my family. Um, yeah, we just can't quite believe how well the country is doing at the minute, and we're all very proud. And um, Hopefully, come Wednesday we can go one step further. I think you played with a couple of the the lads in that squad back in your early days as well, didn't you? Yeah, um, part of the same youth team as Joe Edley and Chris Gunter, and this they've obviously kicked on and they've they've had a, a great uh, club careers and they're proving it now on the international stage. So hopefully, come Wednesday they can. Uh, Get over the line. It's the common theme between Cheltenham and, and and Wales that that team spirit and togetherness that it seemed to make Cheltenham a, more than the sum of the parts last year, and it's definitely doing that mm. for Wales. A lot has been said of of the team spirit, and I think um, we had a great bond last season. I think it's surprising how far that can get you. I think if you've got a tight knit group who are all on the same page, um, start winning some matches, confidence grows, and before you know it, you feel invincible. So. Um, that seems to be where Wales are at at the minute and hopefully we can continue where we left off last year and take it into League Two. Have you been one of the ones to sort of crow about it around the change room or have you just been sort of quietly uh, quietly happy humming the Welsh National Anthem and things like that? I'm a mod- yeah, you know, <laughs> I, you know me, I'm modest and keep myself to myself but when we beat Belgium I did come in belting out the anthem <laughs> and there were a few funny faces, yeah. But yeah, it's um, fantastic, so... I'll be there singing the anthem on Wednesday and looking forward to the game. Excellent.